Queen's Gambit declined, Catalan opening. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Black really punished white in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. The Catalan opening is a slower, more positional opening where white prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on g2, where it will help control the center. d5 takes space in the center and attacks the e4 pawn. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This develops the bishop and gives it scope on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This defends the attacked pawn. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This protects the attacked pawn. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is a miss. Takes back. It is best. That's fine. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is the way to win a bishop. It is excellent. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is best. This captures a pawn and eliminates a threat. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. There was only one good move there. It is a mistake. Very precise. It is best. This loses a knight. It is a mistake. This forks multiple pieces. It is a great move. This is a fair move. It is good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. Recaptures, from a previous move. It is best. Takes back. It is best. That was a free queen. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This captures a vulnerable knight. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That bishop was free for the taking. It is best. This evades the check from the pawn. It is good. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is excellent. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Black really punished white in the middle game. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Black really punished white in the middle game. 